For the last two weeks, I was staying in that building. That is the tallest residential apartment building in Europe. As you can imagine, quite expensive, it's quite fancy, and it is quite nice. Right now, I'm wearing a $300 Gucci ring. I'm traveling and spending the summer in Europe at the moment, but when I'm home, I have two separate $5,000 Saint Laurent jackets each. I have $1,000 Saint Laurent boots. I have a wardrobe in general that's worth tens of thousands of dollars. I drive a $45,000 car. I have tons of followers on Instagram, and yet, None of these things are enough in isolation to attract women. None of these things are enough to attract girlfriend quality women, women who you would actually want a long-term relationship with. And perhaps the most prolific lie in dating right now, especially in the red pill space, is that if you become a successful man, women will just come to you. Women will just come by default. Yet the fact is, I could put on my fancy thousand dollar outfit, stand in my cool car all day and just wait for women to magically fall from the sky. And I would be waiting for an entire eternity. I would wait until I was blue in the face and my hair went gray and I would die of old age. And the reason for this is because despite all of the success that you may have and you likely have as a successful older guy is that you didn't actually do anything dating wise to attract these women. All of the successes and material possessions that you have are great, but they're not an active investment in your dating life. They're not an active action that is going to create a result for you in your dating life. Dating requires an active investment. And although women are going to be more attracted to a man who is successful because it implies and it pre-selects for a man who has his shit together, for a man who is capable, a man who is confident, a man who knows what he wants, a man who can command the world around him and that is very attractive to a woman because it shows her that you are likely going to be the right man to lead her. If you don't put in the work to attract the quality mate, you will never get a quality mate. And the funny thing about this is that as a successful man, you should know this. You can't just magically sit around and hope that because you have a six pack and hope because you're in good shape, it's all automatically gonna make you rich or that it's automatically going to get you connections with the right people. In order to become successful financially, you have to put in the work and have an active investment in this area in your life. In order to get in shape, you need to put in the work and make an active investment in this area of your life. Why in your dating life do you believe that you can do nothing and yet still get high quality, top tier results? It, it doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't compute in your mind, but this frame of thinking, this philosophy just goes to show people's lack of understanding when it comes to women, when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships relationships because relationships are fundamentally emotional and all of the success in the world is not going to compensate or make up for the fact that you lack social skills, that you lack the emotional availability and the emotional intelligence to be able to connect with a woman on a deep level because the highest quality women, true girlfriend quality women, wife material women, women who are capable and qualified to bring your children into this world, these women are only dealing with successful men. The only type of man who fits their standard is a rich and successful man like yourself. So the fact that you're rich and successful is not actually the thing that's going to separate you, that's gonna make you stand out from the competition. That is simply the cost of admission. So in fact, it's actually a lot more competitive because now you're dealing with other, all of the competition for this girl's attention is other men who are rich, other men who are successful. And besides, do you really wanna play the rich and successful game? Because I promise you, if there's anything that I've learned for having some financial success in my life, especially at a young age, is that there is no shortage of people who are rich. So if you want that to be your defining factor, you're going to be severely disappointed because the top tier women are just gonna choose the man who's richer than you. And it's not that hard to find a man who's much richer than you. I coach clients who are worth deep eight figures, guys who are in shape, good looking, worth $20 million plus. And even they don't have women falling from the sky for that. Why? Because they need to make an active investment in their dating life. But one of the biggest problems I see with working with guys like this and working with more successful, accomplished clients is that it makes you entitled. It makes you entitled to believe that you are entitled to results with women or results in your dating life and this entitlement that you bring around with you when you interact with women is actually very repelling because it shows a low social IQ it shows a low emotional intelligence the girl starts to think oh this guy thinks because he's successful that I automatically want to sleep with him it dehumanizes the girl it dehumanizes the romance and the magic and the serendipity that comes with relationships 
because when it comes to a relationship, it's something that's very illogical. Sometimes you meet a woman and you guys just click. You can't explain why. There's just something intangible that is going on in your conversation. There's a connection there that sparks for reasons you can't explain. And it is important that you don't question these sorts of things or try to logic them too hard. However, it requires you to be willing to open up your mind, to be willing to put yourself out there, and to be willing to actually approach your dating life like a professional. Meeting someone who is going to put the necessary work and reps in to get the type of results you want. Because I promise you, all of the money in the world, all of the success in the world is not gonna make up for your lack of charisma, for your lack of social skills, for your inability to connect with a woman on a deep level. Because if that were the case, all you would have to do is walk around flashing your bank account to any girl on the street and she would immediately wanna marry you, immediately wanna have your babies, etc. Yet you're not doing that. Why aren't you doing that? If that was the case, you could just hand your resume out to girls, hand out your LinkedIn profile to girls and boom, 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 three, four, five days a week. Easy work, right? Why aren't we doing these things? Deep down, fundamentally, you understand that your success is not the case. However, you use your success as a crutch to rationalize, to say, oh, I'm not successful with women, but at least I'm rich. We're not talking about whether or not you're rich. We're talking about your ability to build emotional connections, your ability to make a girl have fun. Girls just wanna have fun right? Can you provide a girl with fun? Can you make a girl feel something that no one else can? And I know this video is a little bit abstract because we're talking about a very macro topic and the way you do these things is all very specific. But truthfully, if you still believe the lie that success is enough to get you women, you're simply not ready. You're not at the level where we can go into the micro details of how to actually implement this in action. So instead, what I'll do is I'll give you some advice and show you what an active investment in your dating life actually looks like. It looks like taking your dating apps seriously. It means maybe hiring a photographer, actually putting some thought and intentionality behind your photos, thinking about what are the specific aspects of me that make me me, that make me unique, that is going to attract a woman. What do I want to display to a woman? Because if you try and just lean on your material possessions, you're only going to attract low quality women, gold diggers, girls who are easily impressed by your fame or your status, your money or your clout. And these types of women are fickle. They're ephemeral because as soon as the guy who's slightly richer than you or has a slightly better spot at the table in the club or has a slightly cooler car, she's going to leave for that guy immediately. These are not women you can build a long-term relationship with. And I think perhaps the funniest thing and the most ironic part about all of this is because so many successful rich guys act like this around women, they have this entitlement, they expect women to just like them because they're rich and successful. And if you were actually humble enough to get off your high horse and actually put in a little bit of work, you would get 10 times the result of an average guy. Because the fact is that you are successful means that women will be initially interested in you. Women will give you more time of day because your success shows a competence in your areas of life. It shows that you're a man who can lead her. However, it doesn't allow you to completely check out of the game and not have to do any of the work associated with getting women. You are in a gifted and unique position where you can put in minimum effort and get maximum reward just by nature of who you are. Also, the fact that you're successful in other areas of your life shows that you're competent, that you'll actually get this part of your life quicker. It'll click faster than the guy who's smoking weed, playing video games and doesn't have anything going for him. And I know it sounds like in this video, I'm saying you have to go and put in a lot of bitch work to, to get good results with women. That's not what I mean. Do you have to put in some work? Yes, but it's going to be a lot easier because you are a man who's capable. You are a man who's already shown success in other areas of your life. So the fact that you've excelled in other areas shows that you can excel in this area with a lot less work because that ability to learn, that ability to thrive in new environments is going to translate here. And it's also going to give you a lot more stories, a lot more substance as a person that you can bring with you into these interactions with women. However, you still are going to need to put in the initial work to get accustomed to this skill set and to get good at it. And perhaps the most important piece of advice I could give that I see a lot of men make, the biggest mistake I see these types of guys make is that they think that it'll magically just get better with time. Things will just magically work out. They'll find the one. It'll all just fall into place for you. It's not how life works. It's not how your finances work. It's not how your fitness works. This area of your life is no different. You have to choose to make an active investment of time, energy, attention, and resources. And because you have more money, that means you can pay for premium versions of the apps to save yourself time. That means you can pay to go to nicer establishments, nicer gyms, nicer locations where you'll find higher quality, more attractive women. Your wealth and success can actually be the biggest piece of leverage you have, but you need to know how to use it correctly and you still need to go out there and actually use it. It's like in investing. A bunch of money sitting in your bank account is never going to magically create more money. However, if you put it in the right investment vehicles, it has the potential to pay dividends for the rest of your life. So make sure you're actually making this investment because the worst thing you can do is wait and wait and wait and think, oh, it'll just work out. 
because I see guys cope and lie to themselves in this area more often than not, and they end up in their 30s, their 40s, sometimes even their 50s, and they have nothing to show for it except a bunch of wasted time and excuses. If you're a more successful guy and you understand the power of leveraging your resources and investing it and having the best team in the world handle your dating life for you, then tap the links below and get in touch with my team to see how we can automate a lot of your dating problems for you.